Hey Aquarius, how are you? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. All right, so I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to see what's going on with you guys in love. If you enjoy these readings, if they resonate for you, they help you out any way, um, please do support my channel. It's easy. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're aware of when I upload these readings. I don't say it in every video, but you certainly um, can also check out your moon, your rising, your Venus sign if your sun does not resonate. I know we all have a tendency to check out our sun sign, but um, be sure to check out your other placements just in case because you can get more messages from there as well, okay? All right, let's look into the energy. This is for February 2022. Um, the, these are the last two days for my tarot and oracle deck to be on sale. They are 15% off on my Etsy shop, okay? All right, Aquarius, let's see what messages pop out for you. Messages for Aquarius. What's going on, Aquarius in love? Messages for Aquarius. All right, the challenge for you guys is the Six of Pentacles. Now, you may be finding yourself in a situation where you've been giving too much, right you've been giving more than um and there could be a situation where you're having to now uh take a step back for things to be balanced maybe something hasn't been reciprocated okay this could be a situation you're pouring yourself into work projects it also could be a relationship right so Aquarius there could be a need for balance to be restored in a connection and a partnership um and I feel like there's a situation that has not been this uh equal fair balanced manner for some time and i feel like that's your challenge to finally have to deal with something okay and you may have to decide if this is something or someone that you want to continue to give your time your energy your effort okay do you see this as worth an investment now in the recent past let's look at the past first in the recent past we have the seven of pentacles inverse the death in a verse with the star yeah it looks to me it could be a scorpio it could be an aquarius another aquarius you're dealing with it looks to me aquarius that you had high hopes and desires for something to really work out i feel like there was like a fantasy or an idea of what you wanted and you envisioned this you you saw it okay and i feel with the death in the seven of pentacles something may have came to an end because it just was not paying off right again your time your energy your love your loyalty were put into something and it doesn't appear that you are getting what you put in okay because typically the seven of pentacles is where you know you're investing you're planting you're planting seeds you're planting crops and you have not gotten anything from it you haven't bared fruit right so in the past there was some kind of ending here but you know Death is endings, but transformation, change. So I feel like there was a need for change. And it's kind of like, I'm not going to continue to give to a situation if there's no change, if there's no compromising, if there's no reciprocity, okay? If there's no equal give and take, okay? So that's what you're dealing with. Now, give me the current energy here. The world, I like it. The Ten of Wands in a verse and the Four of Wands. It looks to me, Aquarius, like things are moving in a different way. Because with the World card, it's kind of like you may be seeing things differently. And there could be a lot of unexpected changes. It could be this the universe supporting you in some kind of mission or desire, okay? Now, it looks to me like something has been very burdensome, very difficult. And it looks like you're trying to close out a, a chapter in your life or a cycle you have with someone. Tens or endings, the world, definitely a cycle here here and it looks to me like Aquarius you're getting some sort of balance and in back into your life stability this could speak about you finally getting your life back your home life feels like it's finally put together you're not going insane you're not feeling like um you know you're jeopardizing your happiness or sacrificing your happiness for something that hasn't paid off so with the four wands definitely could be a home situation there could be some balance harmony restored right now into your home because you just did something recently you dropped something you let go of something here ten of wands um something that was very burdensome now let's see what's coming into the near future the ace of swords the judgment in reverse and the hermit in reverse it looks to me like what's coming in is a lot of communication perhaps with a virgo uh gemini libra Aquarius. there's communication coming in and it appears that someone here wants to talk to you i feel like there could be a decision that maybe you made or this person made and it's kind of like can we talk about this decision is it really final can we can we uh discuss this some more can we 
um, revisit this decision that we've made because someone here has had a lot of time to think about something. I feel Aquarius, you've been going within, you've been doing maybe some inner work, healing work, shadow work, right? The hermit, you've been doing some soul searching and you may have found something out. You may have gotten some insight on a situation and you may be looking at it differently with the world, okay? So the Ace of Swords, it could be a lot of communication coming in. And um, yeah, let's, let's see what else we can find out. On your mind, Aquarius, on your mind is the moon in reverse and the ten of cups in reverse. On your mind is that, well, there's a situation you haven't been happy, okay? You haven't been happy about, and so therefore you need to change it. Therefore, you may be dropping something entirely, right? On your mind is also, you, you know, you're very emotional right now. I feel like your emotions have been at an all-time high, and that's why it's so important that you're grounding yourself, you're disconnecting, you're going into hermit to uh, protect yourself. Find that four wands, that place of stability. Now, with the moon in reverse, I also feel like there could be something in your head or on your mind regarding trust or secrets maybe you feel something is hidden from you what it also looks like to me is the moon universe there could be something revealed to you okay there's there could be something revealed to you aquarius that you are not aware of okay you are you could have been in this unhappy place and situation emotionally feeling drained and confused why all this is happening right with the world card but the moon in reverse is kind of like, well, something comes out. Something is revealed. Something that may have been hidden from you. Let's see what you're not seeing in the foundation. Seven of Wands. Oh, the Ace of Cups and the Wheel. So that explains a lot. What you're not seeing is this new offer of love, okay? And I feel like this new offer of love coming in is going to really change things, change the trajectory of a connection. And that could be what this communication is coming in about because someone ultimately long-term wants to offer you love. Now, there will be communication coming in and I feel like that communication will open the door, open the path to be able to offer this new love. Because what it looks like to me with the seven of wands, this is someone who wants to protect what they have with you. They still see love here. This is someone whose intentions is to offer you this Ace of Cups when you guys finally after you have some communication. So it looks like communication is coming in, but look what you're not seeing is that this person's intentions are really genuine and pure. It's it's quite loving. And with the wheel, they want change. They want you in their life. They want movement, right? So what you're not aware of is that someone here still very much loves you and there could be communication coming in so that they can finally get to this place where they can love you and love you the right way. Maybe they haven't been doing so in the past, okay? So let's jump right into your reading a little bit more deeper and get some more messages for you guys. Aquarius in love. All right, give me the energy for the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles a challenge for Aquarius? I feel a lot of you guys, you have to speak up for what you want. Because if you allow someone to step over you, like you treat people how you want them to treat you, right? You know, you know, you tell them how you want them to treat you and I feel like this is someone here who may have been taking advantage of you because you never said anything otherwise you know it's kind of like it was okay so the six of pentacles the nine of pentacles and verse and the eight of swords and verse yeah I feel like part of what you're doing right now is that if something is not fair if not balanced if you feel like you're giving much more than someone else you're letting something go the eight of swords in a verse, Aquarius, is something you've been doing a lot of thinking about, uh, maybe assessing, overthinking, stressing out about. And it's regarding a partnership. There's some kind of unequal give and take regarding a partnership or maybe money. This could be related to your job, okay? Maybe there's a co-worker in your life. But for most of you guys, it's regarding a partnership, a commitment you had to someone. And it's almost like with the Eight of Swords and verse, I can't take it anymore. I have to let this go. I have to cut ties with it. So give me the past energy. In the past, there was an ending, but what's the star card, Aquarius? The Six of Wands in a verse with the King of Cups. So it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like something here in the past was not victorious. Obviously, Six of Wands in verse, you had a lot of hopes and wishes and desires for it. But it may have not been victorious because someone, the way that they expressed their love, okay? Maybe the, your love languages were different. But it ultimately looks like someone here wasn't... Uh, really fighting for something to to really make something happen. I feel like their investments or the way they contributed could have been a big factor. Um, and so something was a failure. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? 
the two of cups in reverse and the five of cups in reverse. There was also a lot of regrets. I feel like this is someone who saw stability with you, who saw you as a, a good um, opportunity or someone they wanted growth with. However, it's like they didn't act like it. So we have this beautiful energy, the two of cups. There was some kind of division or ending of a partnership. And there was a lot of love here. And there also was a lot of regrets because there were a lot of feelings and emotions this person had for you. But it's like they didn't do their best. They didn't show that. So why was this ending here? The death? It's also telling me that I'm getting the energy of, yeah, there was an ending, but it wasn't quite a final ending because we do have the judge in reverse and we have the death in reverse, right? It's almost like something ended because someone was unwilling to do something, but it wasn't really entirely final. Why is the death card Scorpio energy here? The Empress and the Knight of Pentacles. So it looks to me like someone here, Aquarius, um, definitely saw a lot of beauty in this connection. They looked at you as very desirable, very attractive. They loved you. They saw, you know, you as wife, husband, material, male or female, doesn't matter. There was beautiful opportunities. There were seeds that were planted here for something long term. However, whoever you were dealing with, it looks to be, could have been a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could have been a Libra, Scorpio. It looks to me like this person was taking their sweet time. The Knight of Pentacles, a very cautious energy. Um, they're a knight, right? You know, they're not an emperor. They're not a king. I feel you're dealing with someone who was not quite ready to take on that next step with you and move things into the next uh, level stage in their life and so the knight of pentacles could have been a lot of cautious energy could have been a lot of holding back procrastinating and that's not what you wanted Aquarius so I feel like it's like you and this person had something very beautiful that was going to come together but I get the sense that it was timing now give me the energy of the ten of wands something here got burned some now some of you guys you waited for this person for a really long time and the fact that it never happened it was kind of like I gotta let this go the high priestess in reverse and the five of wands. Now there's something that could have been revealed to you with the high priestess in reverse, something that you felt was kept from you, Aquarius. Um, you know, maybe something was revealed to you that made you angry or they could have been bringing some kind of resistance to this connection. The five of wands, competition. Maybe you found out this person was dealing with someone else. I'm getting there's some kind of fight or argument or some kind of tension between you guys. You could have found out something here that you didn't want to find out. Could have been regarding a home, a family situation, maybe about this person. Um, give me the four of wands. And I feel like a lot of you, you had to drop something because you wanted balance for wands. You wanted stability. The chariot in reverse and the ace of pentacles in reverse. So yeah, it looks like there was a, a missed opportunity here. Um, chariot in reverse, it has not been victorious. You have not been able to move forward with this person. There's been a lack of change, a lack of movement. Um, but it also is telling with the four of wands, like... You may have wanted something at that time, right? The four of wands, I've been getting the energy of there's something regarding the home. Maybe you wanted marriage, stability. Maybe you had children. You wanted stability and security for them. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I feel like as a result, something didn't work because at the time, this person wasn't ready to move forward with that, okay? Ace of Pentacles, there was some kind of missed opportunity. But give me the energy of what's on your mind. There's a lot of emotions here. Why is the moon in reverse? This could be letting go of fears though as well. Six of Pentacles and a Fool in Reverse. This could be an Aries. I feel like there's something here that the Moon Reverse could be releasing of fears, doubts, insecurities. And um, there's something about an opportunity being presented to you, Aquarius. But in order to move forward this opportunity and see some kind of happiness in it or see that this is something that could be for you, Six of Pentacles, something that would be... Um, bring balance and reciprocity to your life, you know, uh... It's almost like you're having to let go of something, let go of fear, let go of, of doubts or, oh, this person did this to me, okay? The moon universe is freeing yourself from something here, insecurities, fears, okay? And I think that that is the secret to having a new beginning with someone here, if that's what you want. Um, I also feel the Six of Pentacles, there could be something here about this person coming to make things better, okay? It's like you may know it already. Maybe you've had some conversations about this person um, in an effort to restore balance and harmony to it. We have the Four of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, very similar energy and sense of, can we make this right? Can we bring balance? Can we um, overcome this difficult situation? So give me the energy of what this... In the foundation, we have someone who wants to still fight for this connection. Seven of Wands with the Ace of Cups. 
two of wands, seven of swords in verse with the four of wands in verse. I feel like this person recognizes that, you know, they got to make a decision because the two of wands, you know, this is someone who's at a crossroads and it looks to me like things have not been stable in their life. There's been a lack of unity, a lack of togetherness. Four of wands in verse is something about their home life that has crumbled. Maybe if you guys have a child with each other, you know, they miss their child, they miss their home, they miss, you know, being there. And there's something that has, hasn't been the right since then. It hasn't been right. And this is someone who's saying, I want to fight for this. I want to fight to give this another shot. I want to show you that I'm serious about this. And the Seven of Swords in Rose, that's notorious for someone wanting to come clean. Um, I've done this wrong to you. I've lied. I've cheated. I went behind your back. That wasn't right, okay? Could have definitely been a secret that was exposed. And they're saying to themselves, well, you know, this is why I did it. Or saying to you, rather, this is why I did it. I want to come clean. I want to tell you everything. So there's definitely energy of wanting to reveal their truth and that could be what the ace of swords about because that's their intentions you're not aware of this this person wants to reveal their truth they want to bring some kind of or restore harmony balance to their life they want some kind of change and a positive change here with the wheel they see you in their life they see you in their future and they want a new beginning ace of cups so that's what their intentions are now in terms of this communication coming in let's find out more about what's coming in with this communication whatever this communication is it's going to make you stop and think aquarius because we have the hermit you're going to have to really do some deep thinking you may not be able to make a decision right off the bat but there will be a decision made because the judgment is in reverse you're gonna have to rethink something oops okay we have this knight of cups that came out okay in the upright we have the four cups and we have the seven of wands get one more the three of wands so it looks to me like this person will make a love offer it's small knight of cups could be this person pursuing you um you know expressing their feelings it could be an apology as well it's 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 typically someone coming in to reveal their heartfelt feelings for you tell you how they feel i'm thinking of you four cups i feel like i missed this opportunity it's not what i wanted i feel rejected by you will you allow me to come back in your life so definitely a heartfelt offer here seven of wands again just like the seven of wands here this is that person's energy fighting for what they they want i want to stand up for this i'm ready to um really speak my truth i'm really just ready to stand up and make my feelings known and that's what the energy is because this is someone who feels rejected they missed out and so now they're coming with the love offer and we also have the three of wands so it does look like this connection will be able to move forward it looks like there's something about waiting for your ships to come in waiting for the right time time could definitely be a factor i even feel for some of you guys this could be a move a physical move change in resonance change in moving from another home one home to another home maybe to be together but it looks like there's something that's going to happen i'm even feeling over the next three months the three weeks it could be something changing or shifting in the energy that you're going to feel but the three of wands is definitely some kind of movement and it's after this communication comes in and after some kind of decision you will make however you also have to really really take time to think about this with the hermit and make sure it's fair and balanced and equal you know reciprocated because that was the challenge perhaps initially right you were all in this person wasn't this person was hesitating this person was slow to offer this person was holding back keeping secrets you know so make sure it's reciprocated all right aquarius that's what i have for you guys i hope you enjoyed this reading like share comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're aware of when i upload these readings in the future all right take care